So let's start off with a plane. This one's just going to click by reference, and you click another reference, and you get a plane like that. Let's press enter to repeat the command. Let's do the sensor option, and then we can click here, and then you can type in a dimension like 20 feet by 30 feet. Let's repeat the command again by pressing enter. Let's do the vertical option. And so if you go to perspective view, for example, you can type in your length, and you can type in the height, and you can get a plane in the vertical space like that. The next command is planar surface. So if you have a closed polyline, or if you have connected curves, you can do a planar surface command. So type in planar surface like that. The next command is we're going to do extrude curve. So you can either do it by dragging or clicking on the gumball dot and typing in a dimension if you wanted to. You can also do extrude curve, and then you can click here, also type in a dimension. Next one is surface point, SRFPT. You can click on two to three or four points to generate a surface, even at twisted angles as well, like that. And you can find that over here. All the commands I'm doing right now can be found right here. The next one is curve boolean. So let's select this. Let me go back to top view, ZS zoom selected. I do curve boolean. And you want to make sure that your combined regions are off and your output are surfaces. And I can click here, maybe here and there. And you get surfaces like that. The next command we're going to do is loft. So if I select these three geometries here, stacking, I can do loft. And you want to make sure that you have your seams where you want them to be. So you can drag your seams maybe at the midpoint, for example. And you can also flip the orientations, press enter. And then you can also decide how you want to loft. I typically do normal or I do straight sections if I want it faceted. So again, normal or straight sections. And you can play around with these. But again, as a beginner, don't worry so much about them. You do OK. Again, another loft just so you can reinforce loft. Again, don't forget your seams. This one is sweep one. So if I do sweep one, I want this to be my rail. So I want that my rail, and then I want these to be the two cross-section shapes. And then again, as a beginner, don't worry so much about this, but I would say global shape bending and refit rail is very helpful. Roll like is helpful when you use it for like closed geometries. Next one is sweep two. So I want maybe I want this to be my rail. This is my second rail, and these are my cross-section shapes. Press enter. Again, same settings, a little bit more fine-tuning. Press OK. This one is network surface. So you have to select your curves in a network that are intersecting. So like this, and then these in order, like that. Press Enter. And then these will do like the, the fine-tuned edges. So this will give you the tolerance of your edges on the outside. And these are the tolerance of the geometry on the inside. The more tolerance, the bigger the file. This one, we do rebuild surface. And so I'll, I'll use like five points and three degrees. And so this gives you more fine-tuning. And so if I do function F10, I can drag these points up and drag these points down. This one will do edge surface. You want to make sure these are open. So edge surface, I want to select this and that and this and this, and it becomes an edge surface. This one is extrude curve along curve. So if I do extrude curve along curve, this is my cross section curve, press enter, and this is the geometry. We'll follow it. Last one is revolve. You know, you want to have a cross section shape right here. Select it, you press enter, and then this is, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to press enter to accept the default, which is the Z axis. So, so it'll be vertical. That's the reference point for the revolution axis. So press enter, and then you can just press enter again for the start angle for zero, and press enter again to accept the defaults for 360 degrees. And that's it.